when you're doing quants or in fact dilr also recognize the fact that there'll be a gap between how many questions you have seen and how many questions you have done there'll always be a gap even at my level there's a gap of how many questions i've seen and how many questions i've done there would be one percent question i might not be able to do in some chapters not in every most chapters of course i am at 100 percent but some chapters there might be one person questions which i'm not able to do or five person questions which i'm not able to do so recognize the fact that there'll always be a gap between the questions that you've seen and the questions you have done the idea is not to complete all the questions you see question completion se kuch nahi hone wala skill upgradation is the objective agar tum 95% questions bhi solve kar lete ho of what you see and your skills have gone up because of that and those remaining 5% questions you never come across you never got to know them perfectly okay the cat exam or any aptitude exam which has quantitative aptitude is not an exam where you have to know every question that comes in fact i often tell people that if in a quantitative aptitude exam you you had 50 questions and you knew all 50 Do you studied too much you you ended up studying you had too much ideal is that out of every 100 questions that come in the exam if you know around 80 to 90 and you're able to convert 70 because you remember the thumb rule the thumb rule for topping any aptitude exam is the 70% score so if you can hit the 70% score you are in the top 500 people in the country in a 2 lakh people exam and this is for banking whether you're talking about banking or you're talking about uh, the mba exams or you're talking about any other exam right so so recognize the fact that there'll be a gap between the questions you've seen and the questions you've done there'll always be that gap except that gap because inside that gap lives your your growth and your freedom from a lifetime of bad quants